Isaac on the blitz. Well, we got some nice things. First thing I do when we um, break the huddle is try to get the defenders. I know it sounds funny. I always look at what kind of shoes the defender wearing because you got tall guys that get in the way. I'm able to identify them right away and they break the huddle. You know, I was uh, trying to mirror his angle, and but when I when he came as close as he did to the line, I only figured he was gonna run one or two outs, uh, two routes, either out or he's gonna go across it. One thing he had been doing in the past was. He starts out, if you can see it up top, and he motions down to a, what, what we like to call a DB, a nasty split. And with doing that, he's been running across, which he's doing right now. Right now, I see him start going across. And I was just trying to get as close as I can to him. I try to stay right behind him. But I think he lost me over the um, referee. That's what I'm guessing. Like, he left me over the referee, and it was a big mistake. You know? I always got to keep your eyes on the 6'5 guy. So he, he, he says dead eye right on to the quarterback. And then if I get the interception, what B.I. does a great job of, he knocks him down. So that's one less guy I got to worry about when I'm going in for a touchdown. Early in the year, you know, I see things. And I knew it was coming, but I still was kind of hesitant. You know, every day my coach would preach to me about plays like this. When you know it's dead, just go ahead and go. Take your chances. Take your chances. You know, I could have waited and let him catch the ball and knock him down, but sometimes you got to take a chance. You know, when you lose a draw, you got to take it, though. So as you can see, motion, he's motioning down Williams, and he immediately comes across the field, and that's Fan Two's coming to pick me. But by the technique coach um, O taught us is jet streaming me, and I get directly behind him. And once I'm getting directly behind him, as he takes an inside release, Coach Jones calls it a veer release, I'm able to get directly behind him and undercut me. But I was just so juiced, so him, I could have ran 300 yards without feeling nothing. <laughs> like, I probably could have ran through a wall without. I was so happy I could have ran through a wall just then. So, I mean, it's a great feeling, exciting feeling. You know, I'm looking for more plays like that to come. And it all started with like route recognition and just being able to just play man to man defense. Another thing that's kind of fun. I got an interception the week before, and I didn't, I didn't celebrate with my teammates. So I said, one thing I'm gonna do, I want to celebrate with all my teammates. And um, you know, hopefully we can get that play again and have some more like that. Sense a momentum swing here now. on the blitz. Oh, what a catch there. And an interception for a touchdown. Ahmad Carroll. Pick six. And it's a matchup we've watched throughout the game. Ahmad Carroll assigned to cover Chris Williams. Williams is going to come on a crossing route left to right on your screen. Burris is throwing this, trying to time it up because Brandon Isaac's in his face. Just a great athletic play by Ahmad Carroll to get in front of the receiver and take it away. He makes some catches. Well, we got some nice things on your package. Uh oh Patrick Watkins has a catch, an interception for a touchdown. And for the second straight game, the Argos have a pick six on Henry Burris. Very eerily similar to last week. Intended for Bakari Grant and big Patrick Watkins stepped in front of him. Very eerily similar to last week.